Well, as Oklahoma's Lieutenant Governor, Todd Lamb spends much of his time promoting economic development around the state. And I was able to catch up with him after he spoke to career tech educators gathered in Tulsa. Well, Lieutenant Governor, we have literally just gotten off the career tech stage. What is the role that education plays in economic development? Well, it's, it's one of the key variables in economic development. You have to have a quality educated workforce, one for the employees, but one, the employers, they want to make sure their very own children are well educated. And anybody that may consider relocating to a state, they want to make sure their children are well, edu are well educated. But industry specific, that's where the career tech answers the call. XYZ company, they have to make sure that their employee can do X, Y, or Z function. Well, they reach out to Career Tech. Career Tech meets that need, and that company can now employ more people, and Oklahoma's healthier and, and more economically sound. Now, we love our sports here in the state, and we yes, love we to compete with Texas, but really when it comes to our economy, our competition goes well farther than south of the border. It, it does, and that's, I talk about Texas frequently, not just because they're, they're Texas, but they're geographically we're connected. But here's the other reason. If Texas was an independent country, they'd be the 15th richest economy in the world, depending on which economic indicators you look at. So therefore, if we compare ourselves to Texas, it's a sibling rivalry, just like we do in athletics. If we do that economically, we'll be much better off because if you compete with Texas, you compete globally because of what, a, and they have a lot of problems in Texas, they're not perfect, but if you compete with Texas, you compete globally and that's very important. Yeah, let's talk a little bit more about some of the businesses here. You know, small business is so important and on the governor's cabinet, right. you, you, you serve as a small business advocate, right. do you not? That's extremely important and I was honored that Governor Fallon asked me to serve in that capacity. That's not automatic for any lieutenant governor to be in the governor's cabinet. That's not always the case, but she asked me to serve as a small business advocate. Over 95% of all Oklahomans are employed in small business. It's an important role. What do we need to do in the coming years, or actually what do we need right, to do right now for the coming years to prepare our workforce? Well, education, we want to continue to, to, to strengthen our, our career tech system, uh, allow industry to thrive and flourish because the better the private sector does, uh, the better they can work with career tech and make sure we're producing a very well-trained, educated workforce so they can stay in Oklahoma to find a job, but so that these companies continue to grow. All right. Thank you so much for spending Thank time you. with us. Thank you, Rob.